Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to use the latch and unlatch instruction. In this video, we're going to be using our Compact Logics Trainer. And before we start, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. We're going to continue with the program we used in the last lesson, which was the CLN lesson, where we had a green button that turned on our green light and a red button that turned off our green light. And we're going to do the exact same thing with a latch and unlatch to the yellow light. So let's go ahead and add a rung and you can either do this online or offline. And we are going to bring down an examine on instruction. And we're going to look at this green button bit here, which is local colon one colon I dot data dot zero. Now, if you're jumping into this, not going through the CLN, this trainer is still wired by the getting started exercise. So yes, input zero is wired to the green button. One is the yellow, two is the red, and three is the blue. And the lights are the same way. Output zero is the green light. One is the yellow two is the red and three is the blue so instead of typing that i'm just going to drag that right down here and there we go we're going to be looking at the green button and then we've been mostly using this output energized well to the right of it is the output latch so let's bring that down and this time we are going to be looking at the yellow light which is local colon one colon o dot data dot one and let's go ahead and put a description on it of yellow light. And now let's put another wrong down here and then bring down and examine on. And this time we're going to look at our red button, which is already up here in the ceiling or it's local colon one colon I dot data dot two and then bring down the output unlatch. And we're gonna address the same yellow light for it. So let's go ahead and download this and talk about how this one works. We're gonna press the green button and both green light and yellow light come on. Now I'm gonna let off of the green button and both the green light and the yellow light stay on. Now I'm gonna press the red button and the green light and the yellow light go out. So they do, at least on the surface, the exact same thing. But let's talk about for sure how they work. So we went pretty in depth about how rung zero worked in the previous one. Let's do the same thing now with our latch and unlatch. And if you recall in that, we configured the watch window here where we could see all of them at the same time. Well, let's go ahead and add our yellow light to it. So on the next one, let's put local colon one colon o dot data dot one. And there we go. Now we can see all of them at the same time. So wrong one here, if you recall, this instruction is not a normally open. It's not a, hey, is this true? It's not anything else. This instruction goes and looks for a one. Where? at local colon one colon i dot data dot zero, which from now on in this video, we're gonna call input zero. Do I have one? No, so it is false. So it's gonna pass false conditions over to our latch instruction. And as much as I have drilled it in you, that false instructions do something. The output latch instruction does nothing when it's false. So then rung two, this instruction goes and looks for a one. Where? At input number two. Do I have one? No. So it is false. Passes false conditions on. And a false output unlatch does nothing. These are probably the two most popular instructions that are the exception to the rule that all instructions do something, whether they're true or false. So now we're going to press the green button. In fact, let me go press and hold it here. So this instruction goes and looks for a one. Where? At input zero. Do I have one? Yes. So it is true. And it's going to pass true conditions on to this latch. And a true output latch 
goes and writes a one. Where? Two output one, which is our yellow light. So now I'm going to let off of it. And it does stay on. And obviously, if you go by what I just said, yeah, these two are both definitely false. And yeah, that means that these do nothing. Now here's the part that gets people about the latch and the unlatch. And honestly, I really struggle with some, some people get this right away and it's great. Some people, they just still believe there has to be some black magic back there. Is these two instructions, all they do is manipulate this one data box. There's no magic behind the scenes here that is holding or storing that that bit is latched or unlatched. It is this box right here that is assigned to the yellow light output. So when we press the red button now, this instruction is going to be true. And a true output unlatch goes and writes a zero. Where to? Output number one. And so that is what makes the latch and unlatch work is all they can do is write something when they're true. And when they're false, if nothing else is written to our data box right here, then they're gonna remain whatever state they were in. There's one more important thing just to start getting in your mind. We're gonna do a video on this, but let's press that red button again. If you notice, this instruction goes and looks for a one. Does it have one? Yes. So it is green. And a lot of us like to say that green means that it is true. But if we look over this way, this output unlatch instruction is true. But there is no green right here right now. So this is not an indication of the instruction state. So let's press the green button again just so we can see this. We press it and let's hold it. So now this is true. It's passing true conditions on. This is true. And so you could even think there that, oh, well, this instruction must be true. That's what the green means. But let's just look right on the next line. And you see this one looks true also, but it's not. It's not an indication of the state of the instruction. It is a crude indication of the state of the tag. And we're going to show later in later videos why it's a very crude state of it. But mainly, just, just be cautious of these greens right now. Just go ahead and be walking through and thinking, okay, well, do I have a one? You know, do I have current? Go through all those steps to figure that out. So question between now and the next video is, is light one and light two programmed to function the exact same way. Is there any difference in them? So be thinking about that and we'll talk about it in the next video. Till next time. Hey, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.